Three months ago, nomads found her dying in northern Siberia. Walker, Kate Walker, born in New York in the United States. She had an American passport on her. She showed up at the clinic last week. She's recovering. She's fine. You're certain, Olga Efimova. You have to keep her there until we arrive. I will do what it takes. You can count on me, Colonel. Hello, Kate Walker. Uh, hello. My name is Kirk, Kate Walker. Kirk of the Yukol tribe. Do you remember the Yukols? Where are we? My memory's all mixed up. There was a terrible blizzard with snow and ice, and then nothing. We are in the clinic of Dr. Zamyatin, in the town of Valsambor. How did I end up here? We Yukos migrate with our snow ostriches to the sacred lands. It's a long journey. A very special journey. One month ago, we found you dying on a riverbank there in the north. We took you in and our shaman cared for you. Afterwards, we continued our journey. And today... We are both here to finish getting better. You lost a leg. It was an accident, you know. Some people don't like nomads like us. But don't worry about me. Dr. Zamiatin asked a master craftsman from Velsambor to make me a new leg. And he's going to put it on me when it's ready. It will be like a brand new leg. Why are you tied to that bed? That was the decision of Madame Olga, Dr. Zamutin's assistant. She says I'm too restless, and it's the only way to make sure I get better. Apparently, it's going to take a long time to make my artificial leg. And in the meantime, my people are without a guide and are waiting for me, with the herd, so we can continue. The Yugals I've met didn't speak my language anywhere near as well as you. I'm very impressed. From time to time, missionaries and merchants came through our village. I learned very quickly, Kit Walker. It's important if I am to guide my people. Uh... I don't mean to be rude, Kirk, but aren't you a bit young for that? The spirits do not take age into account when they choose a chief for the Yukols. And the spirits are very wise. They do not make mistakes when they choose the one who will guide our people on the sacred migration. If you don't mind my asking about your leg, what exactly happened to you? Soldiers bombed the route we were taking with our caravan. For no reason just to frighten us and force us to turn back. I was a bit too close to the explosion. A piece of rock. That's it. You mean the authorities did it on purpose? But why? They think that the snow ostrich migration has no place in today's world, and that my tribe should settle down once and for all. But we will never do that, Kate Walker. That would mean defying the spirits. And the Yukols fear the spirits far more than the soldiers. Well, Kirk, I'm delighted to have made your acquaintance. I guess I have to go tell the staff that I'm awake, I feel fine, and I have no intention of hanging around here. Of course, Kate Walker. I'm sure someone will be in the yard. Maybe even Madame Olga.
Hello? Is anybody there? I don't think anybody heard you, Kate Walker. Try using the call button that's located next to the door. Nothing. It doesn't work, Kirk. Hmm. I think I saw some of the staff using it the other day. Take a good look at the mechanism, Kate Walker. Maybe you can find a way to get it working again. Why do the Yukols make the journey? My people live in symbiosis with the great snow ostriches, Kate Walker. Their wool protects us from the cold, their excrement feeds our crops, and their meat feeds us. They are also our mounts and beasts of burden, so we must follow them wherever they go. And do they migrate because of the weather? No, Kate Walker. They go to the sacred lands to reproduce. It is an event that only occurs a few times per century. For the Yukols, it is rare to be able to boast of having participated in more than three migrations during one's lifetime. Well, Kirk, I'm delighted to have made your acquaintance. I guess I have to go tell the staff that I'm awake, I feel fine, and I have no intention of hanging around here. Of course, Kate Walker. I'm sure someone will be in the yard. Maybe even Madame Olga. bolted tight. What's that owl doing here? <laughs> 